Hey guys, Moe here, and I wanted to do a unboxing for the holidays. So I wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Yule. Um, this particular video, uh, unlike the other videos which are more focused on Pokemon related stuff, plushies and what have you, I decided to do a holiday one where I show everything that is geek or art related that I got over the holidays. So if you want, Let's dive in, and we'll start with this little guy, uh, this guy, that I got from Black Friday from Wish. Now, it was my first time doing Wish. I heard a lot of, you know, ups and downs about it, you know, um, I got mixed reviews behind it, and I wanted to try it for my own. And I got these two art, different art supplies, which I thought were really, really cool. And I wanted to try this. The other item that I had were ink pens. I already opened them a while ago. A, a while ago, so um, yeah. So I unfortunately they won't be in this particular video. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try Wish for myself, and it turned out to be pretty cool. So yeah, that was my uh, Black Friday gift to myself. Next one on the list is. A kill, finally, finally, the Kill La Kill complete uh, series of uh, of it on DVD. Now, may I mind you, I had this on DVR, and this was actually given to my lovely other half. And uh, uh, this is, of course, one of my favorite animes of all time. Uh, and I actually, if you guys know me very well enough... This was this character Ryoko Matoi was the very first character I ever cosplayed, and that's you know that's how I got into cosplay and stuff like that. So yeah, um, my DVR will finally be freed up, and yeah, um, um, you have no idea the face that I made when I first got this. Oh my God, it was just so cool. So yeah, so thanks, lovey. Okay, next up was Stardust. Now, this is an old-time uh, movie that I really liked, especially in my early years of college. Um, this was a Secret Santa that I got from a friend of mine who... Uh, by the, uh, A friend of mine on a group that I'm in in Facebook called um, Geeks in... Uh, Geeks in New... Uh, was it New Jersey and New York Geek? Something of that group. I am so sorry, Jen. But, um, yeah, I thought this was very thoughtful. I never thought anybody would, you know, um, actually get me this. This is an old classic, and, you know, I'm looking forward to, to watching this. So, yeah. So, next one on the list that I got that also is from the same group called Hal's Moving Castle. <laughs> now, I love Mizuzaki, as it, uh, everybody knows me. Uh, Spirit Away is my all-time favorite. Uh, second is uh, Princess Mononoke, and the third was Hal's Moving Castle. So, I, and I love this relationship, I have to say. I thought the story was really cute. I have to say Christian Bale did, did his thing as a voice actor. I never knew he had it in him. So yeah, um, this was so exciting. And this was the very first gift, early gift that I got before the actual uh, watercolor pens that I got from Wish. This was actually my very first uh, Chris, early Christmas gift that I got, which was totally amazing. So yeah, thank you so much. And you know who you are. <laughs> So, um, next, and this one, I thought this was really cool and really cute. Um, this one was from my sister, actually. She got me a, a plushy, supersize Eevee, uh, blanket, especially the fact that if you guys seen all my other videos, most of my plushies reside on my, um, bed. So I thought it was really cute since half of them did have to go into storage, unfortunately. Wah. But um, they noticed how much I loved uh, this uh, family of Pokemon. And, you know, sisters will be sisters, you know, uh, supportive. And they'll tease you about it. So, you know, it, it, it was really cool, I have to say. It was really nice. So I can't wait to finally open this. I haven't been, I haven't opened it. I would have, but I wanted to make sure I let everybody know how much I love this blanket. So, yeah, thank you so much, sisters. I really appreciate it.
Now my um bed will even look more colorful than normal. Uh oh. So moving on. Um now may I mind you I know I have a certain rule that on uh, unfortunately I'm a little bit on hiatus with collecting uh, plushies but however getting plushies as gift it gifts are not you know those are the only rules that I have to set myself presently that I will allow to have any new plushies so you can practically guess what I'm talking about And yes, I'm talking about this little guy. Yes, I got a new Eevee plushie uh, from GameStop. Um, I did a series of, well, there was, funny story, I was shopping for a friend, for friends, since they did say that, you know, they really like my videos and they like how I have all these different types of plushies and stuff like that. And they wanted Eevees of their own. So I was looking around GameStop, and me personally, I don't necessarily like to shop at GameStop at, stop as much because uh, a lot of issues with the trading and not necessarily too friendly with, you know, fellow gamers. Hey, listen, I'm looking out for my fellow gamers. I understand it's a company move and they have their own rules and policies. I get it. But when it comes down to it, you know, it's, it's just that when it comes down to it, the player is the one who's giving away their hard-earned cash to fund these big-time companies. But I digress. Let me get off my soapbox. But, um, so yeah, I was shopping for two friends, and I got these, uh, three EVs that I saw that I, you know, I either had or were in good condition because, um, some of the EVs were either deflated or they're, they're, they weren't as full with, um, fluff. Um, I guess when hanging around with a lot of uh, plushie makers or, you know, just collecting a lot of plushies, you start to see patterns. Uh, what is, what is a good condition plushie? Anyway, so I got, I got three plushies for my friends and I got each of them an Eevee plushie, but this one, you know, I did not know where to give it to. So in turn, it's a plushie that I don't have. So, uh, Yeah. This one's mine now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help it. I like being an Eevee mom. I like being Mo. I like being Moe. So, so yeah. So, yep. This one I will be keeping and will be settled nestled with its fellow Eevees or Evolutions. They're brothers and sisters. So, yay for that. So, yep. Um... Next up was just recently, actually as of yesterday, I ran into a friend who I haven't spoke to in a long time. She's a fellow artist like myself, and she gave me this beautiful um, charm uh, bracelet. And I guess she knows somebody who is a uh, who is a uh, silversmith. And for all those who don't know what a silversmith is, it's basically somebody who makes jewelry, other accessories completely out of silver, and they carve it out. I don't know if the lighting is really good on this, but I'm sorry for all those. There we go. So I told my friend that I'm uh, pretty decent. I love My Little Pony, uh, along with Pokemon and several other animes. So, um, yeah, I love My Little Pony and I love the princesses. Mainly, I love... Uh, Luna and Cadence. I know Sunbutt or uh, Celestia gets a lot of fame because she's like on the screen all the time and so like Twilight Sparkle, but I like the ones that don't get a lot of screen time and, you know, have very unique designs compared to their on-screen counterparts. So, you know, I have to say this is just this is just gorgeous, and I will definitely cherish this. This is just, like, beautiful, 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 beautiful craftsmanship. Um, if you guys don't know uh, or are new to, new to this video or channel, um, I do love good craftsmanship. I love, like, s supporting small companies because I am an artist myself, which hopefully um, starting in the new year I will be doing, like, Twitch and do like speed arts and streams and stuff like that. 
but I'm huge of supporting my fellow artists and what have you. So um, my friend who gave me this, she's also an artist. Um, you can check out her stuff. I will put I'll put all the all the small time artists stuff that I got from them or stores that you like. You know, people have asked me, where did you get your stuff? So, you know, I will send in links and certain clubs on Facebook where you can get some of the stuff and you can talk to the dealers directly. And last but not least, now, may I mind you, this is not the last thing that's coming in. There's going to be several other things as well. It's just that they haven't, um... They haven't uh, gotten here yet, so you know um, I'm gonna do probably a part two of this video as well, um, showing some more geeky stuff. Um, I have to say I was very fortunate this year. I very fortunate. I feel like I I should do more. Oh my god, create more stuff and just like give more stuff to. It's just I'm not. It's not that I don't love gifts. I love gifts, but you know sometimes I get kind of finicky because it's like. Oh, should I be spoiled like this? Oh my god. Anyway. Okay, sorry about that, guys. You know, um, until I get a tripod, which I swear I will, um, I will have to do most of the opening off screen because I definitely don't want anybody to get hurt, namely me. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, so, this is... So, wow. Ugh. Darn it. Come on. Oh, ah, no, <laughs> no. Oh, look at this guy. I got a new Eevee plushie. What can I say? I'm Moe. Deal with it. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry. I'm being silly. But no, this is adorable. Oh my goodness. That's a cute little smile. And I love the fabric. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my minx. But I love when some of the plushies have very unique fabrics. Different from the two top. I believe the other one is like not a mesh. But it sort of like has a felt based feeling. And um, the mink. Those two are like the reigning champions of, 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 you know, people that use for plushies. But, you know, I like when they use other fabrics too. It just gives a different feel to them. It's all. But, oh, this one is cute. So, yeah. I'm so happy. Yay. So, you know, I'll take some more pictures of these items. The more, you know, some of them that will flood in um later on and what have you and yeah so this is this will conclude for part one all right guys